like when Jess and I are scared of something or something creeps us out, we go ew or like <laughs> gross. Like ew. if there's a ghost or if there's like something creepy that we're showing each other that's paranormal, the reaction is actually ew. Yeah. That's gross. Every time, ew. <laughs> we haven't even done the intro yet. It doesn't yet. really make any sense, but that's the reaction. Hey guys, it's Jessie V and I'm here with Mandy V once again. Hey yo. And today we're doing a paranormal update because we have not done one of those together in probably a few months and a lot has happened. He opened. Do you remember Hannah Montana? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like Rico's shop, like, hey yo, it's Rico. You remember? Yes, that's so random though. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're gonna make a paranormal video for you guys. Paranormal update. There's a lot of things that's going on and we're like losing our minds because I, there's been no sleeping. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> This has really been affecting her. I don't know what's wrong with She's me. emotional. I'm really emotional right now. Like, I haven't slept. Whenever something happens to me in the night, I text her and see if she's awake, if she hears what's happening. Okay, we'll get into it, but I straight up like hear moaning and stuff, and I literally text you when I hear it. Do you yeah. see the time? In the morning when I wake up, I'll see that you've texted me, and it's like three in the morning. Yeah. So that's creepy. And then whenever something happens, I stay up until the sun comes up. Uh, this video is part one of our paranormal update and then on Manny's channel we're doing a part two so it's because we have so many stories as you can see there's a lot to talk about here yeah and do you notice and I mean you've only been living here since November but have you noticed that there's like a span of time where a lot happens and then there's like this lull where nothing happens because that happens all the time here's the thing here's the thing when I first moved in nothing happened and now, for the past like month, it's just been nonstop. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so weird. They say that if you live in a like a messy, <laughs> <laughs> if your house is kind of messy. Why are you looking which, around here? Are you kidding me? If your house is messy, which like you, this room is, like graveyard girl, you can see that her place is messy and she has problems with spirits. They say that if you have like a messy, unorganized place, which like I'm not exposing you, but I'm just saying. You're exposing. I'm me. just saying. She's exposing that me. it actually does attract negative spirits. Really? No, I, I've been wanting to tell you this for a while. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> Intervention? <laughs> Intervention, yeah. Cause you know how they say like, if you have a clean, organized space, your head is clean and organized. Like you can't be in a good head space if you're not in an organized space. And I don't mean like hoarders. I just mean like keep your things organized because it attracts negativity. No wonder like you keep saying things in your room. <laughs> coming across as mean or anything. <laughs> you are. But no, I'm not, I don't want to be mean. I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> I just have a lot of stuff that I need to organize. That's I really do. Well, yeah, it's not. It's not that. It's not are, dirt. No, it's no, 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 no. There's. It's not dirty. It's just she has a lot of PR boxes, <laughs> like Jeffrey Star, the the Shane helping Jeffrey Star clean up his house video. Yeah. That's literally. my house is like Jeffrey Star's and Graveyard Girls. <laughs> that's a compliment though, so that's fine. I would like to sage the house again. I like literally woke up thinking about saging that's the okay. whole house again and like seriously, like be serious and do it. Yeah. So the story that I have is actually. Actually, Ty's story that he told me, but I'll tell you guys. I just told Mandy the other day and she was so grossed out. She was like, ew. <laughs> Like Ew. So the other night before Ty and I went to bed, he was like, hey, I have to tell you something that happened the previous night. And I was like, great, because Ty sees stuff around the house all the time. So he told me that it was around like three or four in the morning and it was pitch black in our room. We had both been sleeping and he heard like a shuffling noise that woke him up really suddenly. So he woke up and he turned to look at me because he always sees if I'm like, okay. And he saw me sitting up on the bed and just like staring at the wall in, in front of our bedroom. And so he looked at me and he's like, Jess, you okay? And like, I wasn't answering. So he goes and takes his hand to like touch my back, like to say like, hey Jess, are you okay? Cause maybe he thought I was sick or had a bad dream or you know, something. So as he went to reach to touch what he thought was my back, he looked down and I was sleeping like beside him. So whatever was sitting on the bed was not me. So he told me like in that situation, he always like gets really quiet and like doesn't want to move just like what I do. So he like brings his hand back and like goes back to sleep the best that he can because he's he's very non-confrontational and when something bad happens he doesn't want to wake me and scare me so he told me that right before he went to bed why wouldn't he have like turned a light on or something like turned a lamp on because the lights beside me so you would have had to climb over whatever that was or go around it he doesn't have access to the light because it's beside me 
Like, that's like the fourth time we've seen a figure in our room because I told you guys before about the one that was like breathing really heavy and we always just see their back. I don't know what it is. Oh, I thought that he was facing you. No. I thought he was like facing the window. He was facing like the window. So when I looked at him, I saw his back. So I just saw like his shoulders and his back like moving really fast breathing. The one that was facing me Jess. was the one that was at the end of my bed looking at us. Jess. Is it like really dark in your room when you see this? Could it be your eyes or could it be like, is there no mistaking it for something else? Like, is this- The thing is, how come Ty has seen almost all the I ones know, that I have? I know. That's what I scares know. me. But are you like, without a doubt, like I know what I saw, like that's what I saw. I wasn't sleeping, I was, my eyes weren't playing tricks on me, like I know what I- Cause you know- Well, how would I know if my eyes were playing tricks on me? All I know is I saw it for sure, because, so- Because like, I feel like if I, like when I see things or when I hear things, it's like, no. I know what I heard, I know what I saw. Oh, I know I saw it. If I, if, was it a ghost or was it my eyes playing tricks on me? I don't know, but I saw what I saw. I don't think your eyes can play tricks on you by seeing an actual person, like- Yeah, but you don't see, like, when it's nighttime, it's like a- figure. It's not like you can see the details of their hair or their skin. It's very like shadowy, but like I hate that that thing I was just, sitting I on just, our bed. Like, I want you so bad to be like, oh, it could be nothing. You know, like I don't well, want this. Well, sure. To I mean, I, I guess. Just, this sucks. This sucks. Tell one of your stories and then we'll okay, go back to okay. mine. Okay, so I have like a big story that we'll tell like on the part two of this yeah. video, but there's like a few like little, but like big, like significant things that have been going on. <laughs> That just broke the silence. Sorry. So when I, I think one of the first things that ever happened to me when I first moved in was Luca is very like, he doesn't want anything to do with this whole paranormal stuff. It freaks him out. He believes in it. He just thinks that it's all bad. It's all evil. And he doesn't want anything to do with it. I don't think he believes in good spirits or stuff like that. I think he thinks that it's all very negative and he doesn't want any part in it. Um, so he doesn't like talking about it. He doesn't like dwelling on it he doesn't like accepting things are happening as they're happening anyway so like he's not the one to like admit anything but he'll be like in another room like farther away from me or he'll be in the shower and I'll hear him having a conversation when I'm like sitting on the couch or like in the kitchen or whatever and I'll be hearing him like talking and having a conversation then all of a sudden he'll be like sorry I didn't hear you say that Mandy like, Mandy, what'd you say? Huh? Like, what did you say? I couldn't hear you, whatever. And then he'll come out and be like, what were you saying to me? And I'm like, I literally wasn't saying anything. Oh. And the TV won't be on, the music won't be on. And this happens a lot. And he'll be like, well, what did you say, Mandy? And I'll be like, I literally was never saying anything. And he does, and he'll be like, oh, it was a joke, whatever. Like he doesn't- I hate that. He doesn't like, as soon as I say that, you can see his face and he goes like, he gets freaked out. You know, he doesn't want to like dwell on it, but this happens a lot and the one situation where he like yelled at me from the shower like asking me like to repeat myself when I didn't say anything that same time as he was in the shower I was doing the dishes and my back is towards the rest of the apartment as I'm doing the dishes so I like heard and felt what I thought was Luca walking from the bathroom and like something behind me and I thought it was Luca and I remember like kind of turning my head or whatever and seeing something from the side of my eye walking from the hallway into my bedroom and I thought it was Luca straight up I thought it was Luca and I'm like I wanted to say something to Luca or I was talking to him and I was like Luca Luca and he wasn't responding I thought he was just playing around and then I walked over to the bedroom and I realized it was like dark in there like the light was off and then I was like Luca because I thought he was trying to scare yeah. me like he was gonna jump out at me and then I heard him like in the bathroom like yeah and I remember telling him like I freaked out and yeah. I was just like Luca like I just saw something walk into the bedroom yeah. I thought it was you but that was the only time like I ever thought that I saw something but there have been other times when like for sure for sure I've heard moaning like a woman moaning and it always happens at night usually around 3 a.m like Ugh. I wake up every single night at 3 or 3 30 a.m on the dot every single night it's hard when you know 
what's gonna happen or what's happening and not listen for it. I hear like a woman moaning a lot and there have been times when like I've seen things or thought that I've seen like ref reflection of a woman in like Winnie's bedding area. Yeah, just like stuff like that. Well, that's a part of my second story with the room that Winnie sleeps in. Mm -hmm. So you know how like you saw that lady? There is always something in that room. Yeah. Like I don't care. I'm like, I'm like numb to it now because I feel like every time I see something, I just kind of accept it because it's always on that chair. Well, we did that like story on this channel before where Mandy saw that old lady on the chair and I think it was yesterday, Ty came up to me and he's like, it's so weird. Like whenever I go and sit on that chair beside Winnie, she freaks out. And I'm like, what do you mean? You never sit on that chair. And he's like, I don't know. I just started sitting on it like a couple days ago. Like I just wanted to sit there for some reason beside Winnie, like on that chair. Does he know how dirty it is? <laughs> <laughs> that is like her chair. Not only is that chair ancient, yeah. but it has been her stinky chair for like a year now, like maybe two years. So all of her like dirt from outside and like her like smell is on it. It's or, a like, dog chair. It's a chair for the dog. Yeah. And he's sitting Sitting on it. Well, it was weird because he was like, it's just so weird because whenever I sit down on that chair, she'll be like sleeping peacefully and then she'll like freak out. But like if he sits at like the table in the um, in the kitchen or like on a stool, like Winnie doesn't care. She'll keep sleeping. But whenever he sits there, her whole like demeanor changes completely. And he's like, she'll like run over and like try and bite and scratch and like acts just weird, like hyper all of a sudden. And I'm like, I don't know. Like if that lady sits there, then she doesn't like it. <laughs> I don't know. No, I feel like when it comes to that, lady there's not a lot that i like can be certain of but i think that that is its own separate thing and like it's just she likes being there and i think winnie likes her there too like i don't think winnie minds it but she came when the journal came yeah i think that's exactly what it i is. still have that journal <laughs> i don't know where i put it but like i think that like she even if you got rid of it she'd probably just stay because can she, she likes choose winnie. to stay or is she attached to the journal because i don't know how this stuff works if i took the journal out of the house wouldn't she go with it it depends because what if she's attached to that but she can attach herself to the house too and to winnie and to you Ew, i hate that if a ghost is attached to like something of importance of them which would be like a journal then they just kind of follow wherever it goes but if she's been like surrounded by pain her entire life if like being there with winnie comforts her then like she might stay but i think that she is not what we've been experiencing up here and down there i think the moaning is her for sure because i don't hear it downstairs i hear it like from the little upstairs like the middle floor yeah and i hear it like almost every night straight up like i wish i want you to like listen out for it we should like make a video of like trying to record it of like no like us staying up all night in this house 3 a.m and like listen so that you can experience what i'm experiencing because it sucks i don't like, know if I'm i want to experience one. i'm the only one at least you're not seeing figures like i'll switch with you any day. honestly <laughs> i would move out if i saw a man in my room like no anyways though that's um part one of the update so we're gonna right now go and film mandy's part two but that's what's been happening and <laughs> whoa i just hit my light <laughs> we'll keep you posted if anything else happens but um yeah we're gonna get going now. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Pray Bye. for us. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Bye.